Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome again to another segment of uh, Pro's Talk. Uh, Pro's Talk po, it is a weekly Q&A session with professionals. We invite pe professionals in the industry to speak with us so that our viewers in Bildi can ask questions from professionals before they make decisions in their renovation projects or any construction project for that matter. Ang Bildi po, we are, we, our website is www.bildi.com. Our Facebook page is Bildi and we also have a YouTube channel. You can find us in LinkedIn and all the social major social media in uh, the world right now. So ang guest po natin for the month of June is no other than Arki Ara. Hello, Arki Ara. Hi, Nat. Hello again. So Arki Ara is one of the youngest um, successful architects that we have in the Philippines. And later on, we'll give her the opportunity to just talk about her project. From last meeting po natin, no, when we published, uh, when we broadcasted, we were talking about how the pandemic has actually created a lot of opportunity for home improvement. Dito ba, Arki Ara? Yeah. And I know you mentioned about how budget from other things were all of a sudden reallocated for home improvement. So, bago po tayo we'll get into the details, no, in terms of considering, ano po yung mga considerasyon na kailangan isipin ng mga magpapagawa bago sila mag-renovate or magkaroon ng home project. Matanong ko lang pa kayo, architect, ano po ba ang masasabi nyo between, you know, just to compare, I DIY versus mag-hire ng professional. Ano ba ang thoughts ni Jan Um as a professional, um ito yung lagi kong sinasabi sa mga clients ko kasi I always ask them, um ano ba yung target natin? Kasi di ba, for example, um if if ever na we want trends. Kasi di ba we all know naman na yung trends after 3 to 5 years nawawala din siya. Di ba? Saka yung ano, um, when you do DIYs, dapat ano lang siya yung mga small projects. Kasi there are times na kapag ka malaking projects na yung ginawa mo or complex na siya, di ba? Like yung na-mention mo uh, dun sa other episode natin na titibagin mo na yung walls, may mga electrical wirings na na-involve, um, hindi na siya dapat DIY. Kasi kailangan mo na ng ano, kailangan mo na ng professional, kailangan na ng intervention ng mga expert doon sa field na 'yon. Sa so, ano, if if um it is not fixed, 'di ba, yung mga bagay na madaling tanggalin, 'yon, pwede mo siyang i-DIY. Pero things na kailangan mo ng skills um parang pag-isipan mong mabuti. Saka ano, when you do when you do DIYs, um, there are times na hindi rin siya magiging successful, 'di ba? Kasi mm -hmm. professionals naman before we offer our services, we studied, we gain lots of experience, years of experience, right. 'di ba? So right. 'yun. Right. And I agree, uh, Arkiara, I think part of the reason talaga we we publish or we broadcast pro stock every weekend is to really encourage yung mga Pinoy's out there na nag-ipon, nag-save, right? Nasayin naman yung pinag-ipunan nyo pagka hindi tama yung pagkaka-execute, di po ba? So minsan, sa akala nating pagtitipid, pag hindi po tayo kumonsulta sa mga eksperto, eh, masasayang po yung ating pinag-ipunan. Tapos iipon yeah. naman tayo mm -hmm. ulit. Mm -hmm. Kasi ano eh, um, parang... Uh, siguro isa sa effect ng parang everything is available online, di ba? Parang when we look online, parang we can search for designs, di ba? Pero ano, when you look at it, parang everything is beautiful, di ba? Lahat maganda, <laughs> di ba? Pero ang challenge doon, um, how, how will you make it as one, di ba? If you do not have the proper knowledge, di ba? It will look like a chop suey. Correct. Diba? Oo, diba? katagat na lang ng pag nanonood ka ng houses in other countries, tas gandang-ganda ka. Hindi po natin kailangan ng fireplace sa Pilipinas, mainit. So, oo, yung mga ganung bagay po, di po ba? And also, uh, yung paggamit ng carpet or rug. Okay? Yes. So, yun po yung mga bagay na 
minsan, tama kayo, Arky, no? Pag nakita sa magazine o nakita online, ganda nito, parang tag ko to, kukopyahin ko. Hindi po sa lahat ng oras <laughs> eh, magiging successful yan, no? Kasi depende po sa sitwasyon ng inyong bahay. May mga hmm. tao po na nagaganyan, tapos hindi nila alam may anay pala sila. Yeah. So, Oo, di ba? Tapos nagpalagay pa ng wood paneling, eh, hindi pa tinitreat ang anay. So, yung wood paneling naging bahay din ng anay. So, maraming mga ganong bagay, di po ba, Arky? Ara, so, now that we've highlighted, no, na if it's a very small project, wala namang kaso yung mag-DIY. Pero the moment, uh, Arky, no, na medyo meron na tayong involvement sa electrical or structural, mas maganda pong magkonsulta tayo. Yung mga tipong, ay, magdagdagdag tayo ng third floor. Yung mga ganyan, ako, mag-ingat po tayo dyan. Kasi bukod po sa uh, structural and electrical, kailangan po ng mga permits niyan para lang po sa mga nanonood. No? Hindi po basta-basta pwedeng maglagay ng third floor. Kailangan po natin ng permit. Or kunyari, i-extend nyo yung garahe nyo instead na garahe, gagawa nyo ng kwarto. May mga bagay po na dapat po dumadaan sa local government. May mga building code po tayo. And ngayon na masyadong excited ang mga tao sa home improvement, uh, RT Ara. Um, ano po ba sa, ang masasuggest nyo? No? Kasi to your point, last episode, ang pandemya po, hindi pa po tapos. Yes. Uh, kahit po may vaccines na hindi po ibig sabihin nun, eh, back to normal na tayo. Eh, lalo po sa Pilipinas, medyo <clears throat> hindi po tayo kasing bilis ng ibang countries in terms of our implementation of the vaccine. So therefore, we can expect to be staying at home a little longer. So with that in mind, Arki Ara, ano ba po ang marerecommend nyo? Kasi I'm pretty sure a lot of people are really dying to start their own home renovation project. So ano po ba dapat ang i-consider nila? Um, first things first. Um, syempre, um, hindi ka naman mag-renovate or mag-papahome improvement kung wala kang budget. ba? Diba? Parang that's the number one. So, kailangan mo rin i-consider yung budget mo kung gaano ba kalaki yung i-spend mo. Kasi ba diba, for example, uh, yung na-mention ko nga na are you aiming for minor renovations? or major renovations na included na yung ano yung parang mga partitions and then yung mga electrical wirings kasi di ba sa minor um, parang inaayos mo lang siya parang mag-repaint ka lang mm-hmm. mag-add ka lang ng mga accessories di ba mm-hmm. so ano ba yung goal mo so dapat ma- ma-define mo kung magkano yung iaalat mong budget and then second The design concept. Design. Um, yes. Uh, because we we all have um, different preferences. Diba? Pwedeng ako, I like um, modern contemporary. Pero ikaw, gusto mo rustic. Diba? Industrial. So, <laughs> kailangan i-define mo muna yung ano. Right. Ano And Arki Ara, kung may asawa ka, gusto mong pink, gusto niya blue, nako, mag-usap muna kayo, no? Kasi <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, you need to blend and come up with a compromise. Lalo na kung yung space eh hindi para sa iyo lang. Kung may ibang taong gagamit ng space, di po ba? Yes, actually ano kasi um our homes reflect our lifestyle, our personality, 'di ba? Tsaka ano siya eh, parang representation siya ng ating mga sarili. So it should ano, parang clients should ano uh, should think about their pegs and their inspirations. All right. Ano pa po ba ang dapat nilang tignan? Sabi niyo po budget, no? Just mm-hmm. to recap for the viewers, this is very important. <clears throat> a lot of people are let's say ang budget lang nila ay eh, a certain amount, pero ang gusto nilang ma-achieve ay eh, quadruple ng budget na meron sila. So, kailangan po natin pag-aralan yung mabuti, diba? Kasi minsan pag pinagpilitan mo, hindi, pwede yan. Tapos, gagawa ka na ng shortcuts. Meron siyang detrimental effect. So, tama po yun, no? number one budget. Ang sunod pong sinabi nyo is the design concept. Ano ba talaga yung preference? Ng, at saka yung functionality. Yung sinabi nyo pong term, right? Yung lifestyle. Okay? Yung hmm. functionality. Ano pa po, po, architect? Um, the actual site condition. 
Kasi ano eh, um, parang di ba dito sa Philippines, marami sa ating mga old houses, di ba? Um, minsan mga 20 years na, um, 15 years. So, before tayo, ano, be- before tayo gumawa ng any moves, kailangan muna nating i-consider din yon. Kasi what if tibagin natin yung walls? Tapos hindi na pala siya, ano, hindi na pala siya structurally okay. Hindi na pala siya structurally, structurally sound. So, magkakaproblema ngayon yung ano natin, yung structural stability natin. So, kailangan um, check muna natin uh, like yung wirings, di ba? Before, um, parang alam lang natin um, yung mga standards natin na ano, na may, may nakita nga ako eh. Actually, ano to ah, uh, nakita ko siya sa isa sa mga para home bodies. Um, yes, yes. Oh. Sumabog <coughs> yung extension. Kasi, oh, di, yung Tas yung kwento niya kasi yung extension is 15 parang 10 years ba? Ganun yung number of years na ginagamit nila yung extension and then griller. Griller yung ginamit niya dun sa extension. Yeah, yes. So, 'di ba? Super nipis nung ano, super nipis nung wire nung extension. So, hindi siya kaya nung ano, hindi niya kaya yung griller. So, ngayon, sumabog yung extension. So, yeah. yung mga yung mga ganung ano uh, mga ganong scenario yung mga gusto nating maiwasan. Kaya we want to check yung actual site condition. Kung po pwede pa ba siya. Or we need to um, we need to change na yung mga ano natin, electrical lines, di ba? Yung structure natin. Right, right. right. And for that, Arkiara, of course, that's where you need the professional. Unless ito yung po mismo eh, talagang may <clears throat> background in electrical engineering or engineering in general, then siguro ho pwede. Pero para po, for your safety, right? For your personal safety and for your property, right? Magkonsulta po tayo. So yun po ang, ano, ang advocacy talaga ng, ng, ng pro-stock, right? That's why pro-stock. Kasi meron naman pong venue na hindi nyo kagad-agad kailangan maglabas ng malaking halaga to consult. Yes. Yes. Tama. Oo. So maganda po yung may homebodies, may magandang kusapan, pero mahirap po pagka nagpa-survey lang tayo na hindi naman mga arkitekto yung sumasagot sa atin or um, uh, crowdsourcing, eh, hindi naman engineer yung, yung nagsasuggest, right? To your yeah. point, calculations po yun, hindi po ba? Tama, Arky? Ano pa po? Actually, ano, um, yun din yung isa sa reason. Kaya ano, kaya kapag kami nagtatanong sa akin, kasi I, I, most of the time, I'm getting questions about oh. the ano, uh, actual site condition kung um, structurally sound pa ba yung mga bahay nila for ano for renovation kasi minsan gusto nila mag extend eh, tapos magdadagdag ng additional floor eh mm-hmm. what if ang kaya lang nung uh, existing house mo is ano lang maximum na yung two story okay. di ba ayoko namang ano ayoko naman na ma maging at risk din yung ano yung mga taong titira doon sa bahay kaya i always tell them na mas maganda na ipakita muna nila sa professional before tayo ano before anything else before tayo magdesign right no i completely agree architect uh, as a as somebody who also went through yung construction no ultimo yung firewall eh di ba hindi ka tuloy makakuha ng permit kasi kulang yung height ng firewall mo basta may mga requirements po na very technical in nature na minsan hindi po natin nako consider and then pagkatapos ng project magkakanda magkaka problema po tayo no lalo na if it's it's, if it's a new construction kasi you can't get an occupancy permit because may mga violations yung 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 overall project so marami po salamat for that to no? actual site condition ano pa po yung ibang mga bagay na dapat i-consider ng mga tao magpapa home improvement um the timeline um, importante kasi yung timeline natin. Uh, ano ba yung ini-aim natin? Um, are we aiming for uh, full blast construction or by facing? Yung full blast construction kasi, di ba, when you already have the design, parang pwede mo na siyang ipagawa uh, hanggang matapos. Talagang lahat nung nasa design mo, ipapatapos mo na siya. 
Uh-huh. Then, babalik tayo dun sa, ano, dun sa naunang consideration yung budget. So, uh-huh. what if limited lang yung budget mo? Um, you can do a right tracing construction na, for example, um, yung living room muna, yung bedroom muna, yung dining room muna, yung kitchen. So, you can do that. Right. You can do that. As long as you have the design. Uh, ako nga, ini-encourage ko yung mga clients ko na i-design na natin yung buong space nyo, buong structure nyo. Tapos, pag nag-budget kayo, kung wala talagang budget, limited lang, unti-unti. Ang right. mahalaga kasi na may design ka, you have, um, parang, may nililook forward ka na right. ito yung gusto mong ma-achieve, ito yung gusto mong matapos. Right. No, I completely agree, uh, R. Kiara. Um, maraming tao, feeling nila, parang, pwede nilang i- i- go with the flow pagdating doon. Mahirap po yun. Mahirap. Kasi pag nabuhos na po yung simento, <laughs> tapos na, di ba, pag nahalo na yung pintura, ayun. I mean, pwede naman, pero gagastos ka, which again, is what we are trying to avoid, right? Ano po ang last item na masasabi nyo kailangan nilang i-consider, no? So, i-recap ko lang. Number one po, budget po, no? Design concept, uh, actual site condition, yung uh, timeline, ano po yung, uh, meron pa po bang ibang dapat i-consider? Um, I think um, it's getting clients involved in the process. Okay. Um, it is important that clients um, can see the details from the schematic plans, perspectives, elevations, furnishing, and then yung mga finishes natin. Um, right. Maganda kasi involved din sila dun sa decision making so that they would feel na uh, bahay ko to. Right. Diba? Kasi at the end of the day, they are the users and they are the owners. Right. Saka ano, pagka involved sila dun sa process, mas naiintindihan nila on, ano, on how it works. Right. Right. No, I, I completely agree. And to those that are watching us, no, if you're the professional, if you're the architect or the engineer, yan, I think mas maganda po yan. No? Kasi minsan, kahit malami po tayong technical knowledge, pero hindi naiintindihan ng customer natin kung bakit kailangan gawin yung mga kailangan gawin, magkakaroon po kayo ng conflict. Right? Yes. And, Saka ano, when, when the client understand the process, parang sila mismo yung magsasabi sa mga kakilala nila, sa mga kamag-anak nila na you should get an architect, you should get an engineer. Kasi naintindihan nila eh. They went through that. ba diba? Sila mismo yung magsasabi. Correct. So, sa mga professions na nunood, maganda pong uh, you know, ref, uh, reminder yun. No? Na at the end of the day, ito pong field na to, mas maganda po talaga yung meron kayong personal endorsement from someone who is highly satisfied with your output or with your project, di ba? So, pag sila po yung nagsabing, ay, tawagan niyo po si Arki Ara kasi madaling kausap yan. Kuha niya yung gusto mong mangyari and meron kang options. Yun po yung mga magandang marinig ng mga taong naghahanap ng, ng arkitekto or any professional for that matter. So, Arki Ara, marami pong salamat, no? I think for those that are watching us, may mga recap ko lang po, no? So, number one is, kung, kung kayo po ay professional at for the user, kailangan nyo pong maintindihan ano yung budget. Both parties po yan. So notice, ano yung design concept? Kailangan din pong pag-agrihan ng both parties yan. So notice the actual site condition. Kasi yung actual site condition might impact the budget. Right? Uh, ang pangatlo, ang pang-apat po na, sina, na diniscuss ni Arki Ara is the timeline. So depende po sa budget, at sa actual site condition and design concept, mag- magkakaroon po kayo ng um, iba-ibang klaseng timeline. Depende po. No? Kasi to your point, depende po kung gusto nyo full blast na or by phases, which is dependent on the budget. And of course, ang last is, kailangan po may involvement yung, yung kliyente mismo sa project para meron po kayong buy-in at magkakaroon po kayo ng seamless relationship as you work together kasi man, so any project may timeline yan medyo mahaba-haba. So with that po no Arki Ara before we close today I just like to uh, give you back the the floor and just invite 
uh, the folks that are watching, para ba, gusto po nilang makita yung mga works ninyo, magkaroon sila ng idea, and baka may mga tanong po sila. Um, hello everyone. Um, I am Arke Ara. Um, please like our Facebook page, Arke Ara Design. We also have our YouTube channel, Arke Ara Design. So if you have any questions about um, renovations, about um, new constructions, or anything na related to design na we can help you, um, feel free to message us. Thank you so much and also continue supporting Bilgi. All right. Marami po salamat, Arkiara. And again, next week, please join us because Arkiara will take us through the entire renovation design process. So maganda pong topic yan, especially now na lahat ng tao nag-go online. Pakinggan po natin ulit si Arkiara next week. But for today, marami pong salamat for tuning into Pro Stock. Thank you so much for your time. Bye. Bye.